So if you're applying to UCSD, you might have encountered this. UC San Diego College Ranking. What does this mean? More colleges? So, you know how Hogwarts has four houses? UCSD decides to one-up them with seven colleges. Ravel, Muir, Marshall, Warren, ERC, 6th, and 7th. And you have to memorize this exact order at UCSD. So each college has their own res halls and section of campus. And it's another trait to memorize when meeting people. So for example, I'm a 6th college student, so you have to memorize that I'm a 6th college student. When ranking the colleges, you should consider their graduation requirements, which you call GEs, and their first year on-campus living experience, like how nice the dorms are, how far away they are from everyone else and their closest dining halls. Because the dining halls at UCSD are more like restaurants than buffets, so they have a specific menu with different specialized food options depending on the dining hall. I haven't really noticed any stereotypes between colleges, except maybe Warren's since we mostly just chose colleges at random on our college apps. So as a misinformed first year, let me show you around. And I won't show the insides of the dorms, because firstly UCSD doesn't allow any guests due to COVID reasons, and no one will invite me. And this is not a full campus tour because I don't think the campus is that remarkable compared to other universities, though we are pretty close to the ocean. The first college is Ravel, founded in 1964, named after Dr. Roger Ravel, who was part of founding UCSD. Ravel has all the natural science buildings, so their GEs require one of each science, biochem, physics, and so they have relatively more GEs than other colleges. Their dorms are right next to academic buildings, and they have large windows, so their windows are the best place for window arts, and everyone can see them. Ravel's dining hall is 64 degrees, which has a taqueria, and a walk station, which has Asian food. Some of their workers went on strike this year, and you can see their dock in the description. Ravel is at the southwestern corner of campus, so they're a bit far from the rest of the campus. North of Ravel is Muir, founded in 1967, named after environmentalist John Muir. They have very characteristically brutalist architecture, and I think it looks quite nice with all the plants around. They have Mom, a coffee shop in the middle of Muir, and above Mom is Pines, which has okay food. They have a Hawaiian barbecue, but they're closed on the weekends. Below Pines is Roots, which has vegan food, but it has been closed this year. Their GEs are not terrible, and Black Speech is only 20 minutes of walking away. Muir used to be considered the center of campus, but after the construction of the NTP LLN, north of Muir, Sith College moved there and challenged Muir's title. This college was founded in 2001, and they have the newest dorms. Instead of dark carpet flooring, the concrete floor here is made of concrete floor. Their dining halls have five stations, Wolftown, which has Mexican food, Makai with pokeballs, Crave with vegetarian food, noodles with ramen, and rooftop with meat. Their GEs are pretty easy, so it's an overall pretty good college if I do say so myself. North of 6th is Marshall, formerly 3rd College, named after Justice Thurgood Marshall, founded in 1970 during the Civil Rights Movement. Their dorms are divided between residence halls and apartments, the only difference being that apartments have kitchens. There's also overflow housing for second years in U6. Marshall has OVT, which basically only has pizza. Probably if you live here, then you eat a lot of pizzas. Also, Marshall's GEs are okay. North of Marshall is ERC, formerly 5th College, named after First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt and founded in 1988. Their motto starts with developing world citizens, and their international theme can be found everywhere. For example, in their GEs, which I heard are pain, their students keep complaining about MMW, which is their writing course. ERC has the Eye House for international students, and their dining hall is Cafe V, designed like an airport with world clocks and with Latin American food. Even the residence halls are named after various places around the world. They look nice, and apparently people live up in those arches. ERC is also close to Rymac, the main gym at UCSD, not to be confused with main gym. ERC used to be considered far until 7th College was founded in 2019. They're at the northernmost tip of campus, so they're very, very far from everyone else. Their housing was originally the village for transfer students, but the UC system was like, UCSD, please accept more students, and UCSD was like, no, we have a housing crisis here. But this fell on deaf ears, so they converted the village into 7th College for first years. For this reason, all the dorms here are apartments. Their dining hall is the bistro, which is sushi, but it's not really an everyday dining hall, so 7th College students usually use Cafe V instead. Also, 7th GEs are pretty good, and they're also close to the glider port. So we reached the northernmost tip of campus, but we've only covered six colleges so far. So where's Warren? It's all the way here. Warren College was founded in 1974, named after Chief Justice Earl Warren. Their dorms are far, and their dining hall is CV, which has Mongolian food, and all their food there is halal. Also, all the engineering buildings are in Warren, so their GEs are pretty ideal for engineering majors and not so good for others. 
Whoa, that's all folks. If you're watching this video to rank the colleges for your UC application and you're lazy, then as a student for 7 weeks, you can use my ranking, carefully constructed, with the top priority listed first. It's determined by AI and machine learning algorithms. Okay, bye. And don't forget to deal with the dryer. I have to update this video when 8th college is built. <laughs>